we want to fit a muscle with a little backpack and set them free so that they can roam in their environment, they can reproduce. But to do that, we have to do a number of things. First, we need to make the electronics small enough so it can do that, that's quite a challenge. Make it watertight, make it very low power. We want to be able to retrieve the data that we measure. So what we want to do is put a little communication device. Well, we decided on using radios. Muscles have patterns in their gait response. So putting these sensor packs onto muscles where we can measure things like their gait motion or their heart rate, that gives us a, our first indicator of whether or not the muscles are thriving. That gait response can also be interrupted. Um, a flood happens or a toxic substance comes you know, in their midst. They literally, you know, as the phrase goes, they clam up. Well, that's really valuable to someone like me if I see a normal pattern, oh, open, closed, open, closed, whoa, stayed closed for like a whole day or a day or two. Something must be going on that caused the muscle to do that because they're kind of regular animals. The National Academy of Engineering is called Managing the Nitrogen Cycle, one of the 14 grand challenges of engineering. And so these organisms play a huge role in that and the way they couple with the way other organisms like bacteria function. Um, it could be some of our engineering solutions um, for nitrogen management issues um, in the future.